Hello, David Harper of the Bionic Turtle with a brief tutorial on a classic distribution in operational risk called the Poisson distribution, named after a Frenchman, Simon Poisson. In addition to being classic, also a very convenient distribution because it only takes one parameter. We only need one parameter for the Poisson distribution. That's lambda. And the neat thing about the Poisson is lambda equals both the mean and the variance. So here I've plotted a probability density function for the Poisson, also called a mass function. Notice it's discrete, so the values of x take on either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, but not, for example, values in between 4 and 5. So it's a discrete distribution. This is for the parameter where lambda equals 3, and how did I solve for these y values or these probabilities? Well, here's the formula for the Poisson, and this says the probability that the random variable x will equal some value x is equal to this math here, lambda raised to the x, multiplied by an exponential function of negative lambda divided by x factorial. So a little bit of math in there, but there's still only the one parameter, lambda really. x is what we're solving for, and e, natural e, is a constant. So let's apply this. If the, let's assume we have an operational process that has a 5% error rate. This could be, for example, if accounts receivable commits 5% errors on the invoices. Some operational process could be anything. Then we ask, what is the probability of exactly committing three errors in 100? Well, we could fit, we could try and fit a Poisson distribution here where we could say the probability that x is going to equal 3. We'd like to figure out what's the probability we have three errors. And we're our process is a 5% error rate among 100, so lambda equals 5. That's all we need. We're solving for the probability that our random variable x equals 3 under a Poisson lambda equals 5 distribution. So here's the formula again, and then we, if we, if we calculate here, probability x equals 3, here's where the lambda goes, 5 to the x power, e to the negative lambda, divided by x factorial, and we can multiply that out here, turns out to be about 14%. So to summarize the characteristics, we say the Poisson is discrete. It is typically used to characterize the number of random events over time, so that would be errors per transactions, this could be service calls per hour, this could be breakdowns per week, just for example. And that key elegant feature that I mentioned, lambda, is both the mean and the variance of the Poisson. If I switch over to Excel, I'll show you that same Poisson distribution in Excel. And recall, I'm going to use the same assumptions, 100 events, our error rate, let's say, is 5%. And we actually don't need to use those directly because we can say our lambda, which is the mean and also the variance, and the mean is the expected number of errors, is going to be 5% of 100 or 5. And then what I simply did here is in this column, this is the x-axis of that density plot over here running from 0 to, well, it goes up as high as we want, really, but it's going to be asymptotic to the x-axis. And it's a discrete function, so I can plot each discrete uh, outcome here. And so here is the probability of zero errors. And I've calculated that two ways. First with the built-in Excel function. So we can see, we can just straight away use the Excel function equals Poisson. I give it the x value, I give it the mean, which in our case is 5, so that's the lambda value right there, and then I give it a false because I want a density plot, not a cumulative function plot. And so if I go down here to number 3, the example that I showed on the PowerPoint slide, we got 14%, we'll get that here as well. That's the probability 
that if we have a process that commits a 5% error rate, this is the probability we'll have three errors out of 100, and it equals about 14%. And just to show you over here, this column, all I'm doing is applying the same formula that I previously showed you. So we can also manually calculate with the function the probability density function for the Poisson distribution. And then here is the plot of the Poisson. Finally, one other uh, feature of the Poisson is that lambda increases. The As we increase lambda, the Poisson is going to converge on the normal distribution. So I'll change this to 10, and you'll notice it starts to look a little more symmetrical. Change lambda to 15, and well, the chart starts to cut out, but the Poisson as lambda increases is going to converge toward the normal. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.